Ladies and gentlemen, unveiling a major rumor surrounding the Envo L60 sub-brand, uncovering groundbreaking features and potential game-changing updates. I will talk about a major rumor. All right, a big rumor for the sub-brand. So, stay tuned till the end. So, friends, we have received some new pictures of the Envo L60. If you look them up on the internet, these pictures are truly stunning. They resemble the BMW M4 or M6. Absolutely spectacular. Those rims, those rear lights, they are truly making it look magnificent. This is fire. I think this color will be very popular. And looking at this picture, I am convinced that this car will be very successful. It will be cheaper than the Model Y, but with better features, better specs, and better swap capabilities, and it looks absolutely fantastic. So let's move forward. NEO has seen a lot of success today as well. They practically completed their 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state live stream. So, they did a 1 in 600 kilometer road trip with live streaming all the time, from Chengdu to the Tibetan mountains. And when they reached there, they also did a live stream, in which the president said some very nice words. But remember, this was on the ET5T, and then they used a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack, and that car essentially traveled 700 km, and that is the actual range of that car. But we saw that the elevation increased up to 4000 m from start to finish. So, these are quite impressive stats. All right, you know, the car elevation increased up to 4000 m. So, let me tell you what the president said about this achievement. For everyone, it's difficult, but first and foremost, I pray that everyone journey is very safe and enjoyable. I have also understood some initial wisdom about ET5T battery life performance. This should be calculated along with the other powers, including an 880 km electric journey. And this 880 km feels very good because it's not from Lindsay to Chengdu, but it's from Chengdu to Lindsay, which is included in our beautiful but dangerous and tough roads. The point is that in this journey, there are altitudes of more than 4,000 m. I think that this combination of plateaus, low temperatures, and tough roads, all together, makes it a very difficult challenge for the car, the battery, and everyone. It's a very difficult challenge in any case. I am very happy at this high point. It's not just clean, but what's best is its experience. Its power doesn't diminish, and it can even charge itself when it goes down, which is quite good. We also have quite a few charging stations. I believe that previous users will be users of other electric cars. They will use our charging stations. I believe that this charging and swapping network will further expand, especially with our flexible upgrade of 150 kilowatt hours of electricity. When this becomes easy, everyone will prefer to drive electric trams with more attention and will want to go out. In fact, they will be more eager to explore snowy mountains and lush green places. 150 kW of electricity is excellent. 150 kW of electricity will definitely be used for various types of tests and measurements in a flexible, upgraded manner. We have mainly conducted tests for production progress, which will start after a few months. So, all this has been said by the president. They were going up. While going down, they will regain a lot of power, and maybe they won't even need charging. And going down, they might be able to go more than 2,000 kilometers without charging. And this battery will be available in every NEO. If you want to use that battery, you can rent it for a day, a week, a month, a year, however long you want to use it. And the CEO said, you know, this is for extreme situations where you're in a hurry or where you need extra range. But as the CEO said, it's for the 1% scenario, but it's better to have it. Now it's time for rumors. So, the actual timeline for Envo launch was the brand reveal in Q2, which is May. They will reveal the brand in May, launch the brand, then test production in the summer, in July, August, and then officially launch the car in Q3 and deliveries in Q4. But I'm hearing rumors that everything is being pushed back. The schedule is being pushed and maybe we'll see the cars being launched in Q2, which is very soon, with deliveries in Q3. So in the summer, this is very, very likely. And seeing that they have had this car ready for a long time, 
it's very likely that things can move forward. And in China, they are making drastic arrangements there, hiring staff and shifting talent from Neo to Envo. Some senior people have also been promoted. All right? And I'll tell you that the Neo managers we're familiar with have been promoted to Envo. All right? And they have to get a lot of non-disclosure agreements signed from them. So they can't tell us anything. But things are progressing very quickly, and they are quickly getting on board. This is about those who are learning about cars, which are about to launch very soon, so we might see the car in the market very soon. And basically, it's a matter of benefit to delay the launch. And there's also a benefit to launching early. Namely, they already know the price of Xiaomi car. They can undercut Xiaomi. And then they know about Tesla, and then they know. So, there is also a benefit to keeping the car ready a little late. But now they have to launch it quickly. Deliveries fast. This car will definitely be successful because we have a secret formula with a car that is priced around 200,000 and 10,000 RMB, which is slightly cheaper than the starting price of Model Y. The starting price of this car will be in that same area. For Envo in that area, instead of buying a battery, you can get it for less than 200k RMB. This will make it affordable for everyone, and everyone can buy this car. And now there is no excuse for anyone to buy a battery-powered car, because, you know, I've talked to some taxi drivers and some Uber drivers there in China who are ditty. But many of them have chosen hybrids instead of pure gasoline or pure EVs, always complaining that EVs have a big problem with charging and they don't have time to charge. But with gas cars, you know, gas is much more expensive than electricity. So, this solves a big problem. You can find large taxi orders for this car in China, and people are buying this car with the intention of using it as an Uber ride hailing vehicle with a bus. This makes complete sense. We haven't seen this with Neo because buying a Neo is a bit expensive. For this purpose, its depreciation will be very high. So, it doesn't make sense. But now it's finally happening. So, this will be very exciting, my friends. Apart from this, along with very good consumer sales, we will also see very good business-to-business -business sales. And don't forget that NEO owners can also buy this car, with NEO owner discount perks, similar things. So, if I were to buy this car, I would also get a lot of discounts because of the privileges of NEO owners. I would also get a lot of NEO points and similar things. So, many NEO owners will also buy this car as their secondary car. So, things are definitely looking good for NEO. Let's talk about the design. The previous leaked photos of the design were a bit distorted, but this design is looking so amazing, especially the rear part. What do you guys think about Envo? I think it's going to be a huge success. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.